It's such a pleasure to be here with Leila Lee. And you were photographing some of the finest mid-century designs created by the finest architects. Oh, exactly. And we're so lucky to have them here. Well, I'll tell you, yeah. this is the crowning achievement of my brief career, you know, to have great architectural design and a wonderful interior designer without parallel, you know. Right. Well, now, let's start here. These are Lockman houses over here? Uh, this is uh, John Lockman design yeah. for a client, but I never knew the client. So these two are in Silver Lake. Yeah. But this is Arthur Elrod's house. We hear so much about the Elrod house. So tell me how you happened to do this. Well, it's fortuitous because uh, I was Julius Schulman's assistant for eight years. Yeah and uh, the architectural editor of a house and garden requested that he host all the leading architects of the region at his home uh -huh. when I was his assistant. So I met Will Melhorn, who was the architectural editor of house and garden, and he was so impressed with what I was able to do that he phoned me about two weeks before 1969, and I picked him up in Beverly Hills at five in the morning <laughs> on a Thursday, and we, I had to drive him and all my equipment, my assistant, out to the desert, arriving around seven o'clock at the Oasis. And then you went up to here because it's well, I a... went up to the house and I was flabbergasted to find. It's a, the, the sculpt of an it. incredible home. So tell me exactly where this is with the steps going up. Well, this <laughs> at this point in time, yeah. when I saw the house, I told Arthur I either had to have hummingbird wings or a <laughs> helicopter in order to take the photographs because I was down here somewhere looking yeah. up before the addition was made. Mm. And within hours, he had a cherry picker. So that's the equivalent. Oh, isn't that interesting? So I took this photograph from the air and others, uh, there's yeah. another one. But I mean, it was not, would not have been possible. This is the master bedroom and this is, I guess, the wonderful... Well, the, this is only the sitting area of the oh. master bedroom. Right. The, the, the master bed is way over here. Yeah. And, and this is on the pool terrace. Yeah, yeah. With the... Uh, somebody fong made this custom furniture. Right, right, and here it is closer. Mm -hmm. This is Well, it's, it's so, it, the scale is proper. Everything was, oh, you know, Arthur Elrod didn't spare any expense. No, no, I knew him, by yeah. the way. And he of course, was incredible. The, the main, you know, the, the most striking architectural feature, aside from the total up, totality of the design, was the uh, mired glass. Yeah, yeah. And the year that there was a windstorm, uh, after they made Diamonds Are Forever, which the they did film up here. company did not do a good job putting the glass back. And there was a windstorm that summer and <laughs> it blew out. Yeah. And they never replaced the glass again. And they put up a sliding track. Oh, I know that you are so proud, and you can walk over there and show me if we can get a photogra uh, photograph of your photograph of the Elrod house from the bottom of the hill. Of course, ah. it's kind of built up now, but it still is incredible. Well, of course, one needed to be a mountain goat to go down there. I had to drive down from <laughs> South Ridge and set up my camera and had coached this young couple up above yeah. uh, to, to assume a very, you know, characteristically touristy pose to looking at the view. I had photographed a lot of good architecture, but, but th this was unique. Right. Well, I was lucky that we have it to see in Palm Springs, all your well, wonderful I'm lucky, work. I'm lucky to have it in my repertoire. 